Hello everyone. Um, I'm back with a quick haul. Um, if many of you might know this just from Facebook, the news, whatnot, that um, AC Moore, which is a craft store that I know is on the East Coast or, you know, Eastern side of the country, is going out of business. They've actually been bought out by Michaels. And my AC, they're already closing, like have stores closing signs up and they have everything um, starting at 25% off and then 25 to 50% off, I think. So I was in there today for something else and I decided to buy, to grab a few papers because the all of the loose paper was 50% off and then I did get these two pens for 25% off. This one is the La Pen Permanent. Um, it's for journaling, altered art, mixed media, outlining, alcohol-based ink. Um, so I have not tried this. It was, I think I paid like $1.25 for it. No, $1.49, sorry, um, for it. And let's see. There's a piece of paper. Let's just see what it's like. So, I can't say it's very, hmm. We'll see, I guess I'll just have to play with it. It kind of feels like it's not the same color all the way across. So I got that one and then I got this one by Pentel and it's a hybrid Technica. It's a 0.6 millimeter archival ink um, metal tip. Let's see this one. Oh yeah, I like this one much Okay, much better. I think you just have to kind of write slow on with these. Um, so I got those two inks or pens. And then I did get some uh, 12, just a few sheets of um, eight and a half by 11 cardstock for card bases. But most importantly, I wanted to show you, um, I'm gonna wait on that one. The papers that I got, oh, I also got this tacky glue by I, um, Aline's. Someone said they used this clear gel tacky glue on acetate and um, that you couldn't see the glue. So I thought that I would try that out. Here's what I was really excited about. So um, AC Moore has quite a bit of the American Craft collections. And um, so I did get um, some paper from there. And a lot of them I got for, to use as backgrounds. So you'll see, um, I love this star paper though. I think this would be really cute for like a baby boy card, uh, like a new baby boy card. But then the back has this, which I think would be cute as a background paper. So I did get two of those. Um, I did get this sheet because I never did get this collection and it's, I apologize because it doesn't say the names of the collections on here, but it is definitely nice weighted double-sided paper. But I want to cut up all of these labels and I want to do a page using all of this, but cut up. So I got, that's what I got that for. And then the this is the background. This is from, um, Oh, what is that collection from Maggie Holmes over the summer? And I love these. And so I only had one sheet of this. So I picked up another one. There's the back. And I just liked this one for just like a beachy uh, picture. And then I love the background too. I probably should have gotten two of those, but this one I picked up because I love a diagonal stripe and I thought that this color was also usable, so I get, did get two of those. 
I thought about using this. I got this one to use as a background paper um, because I just think it would look really good for like a travel page for a background. And then of course, this is super usable for a background as well. Love the colors in these stars. And I just thought this would be good for um, like a birthday card, um, just so many different things. And I love the colors. And of course, this is just a good green and aqua polka dot. This I'm going to cut up and I'm just planning on using these postcards um, just as embellishment clusters. And with these colors, I know that I can use these in any Maggie Holmes collection because I know the colors will go well together. So I'm just gonna cut this one right up, put it in my, um, like embellishment book and that will be that. This I got for this side to use for a background. This one as well, I got for this side to use as a background. And like I said, most of these I did get for backgrounds. Um, this I got because I'm obsessed with any type of paper about New York City. I don't know why, maybe because I love New York City and I am dying to go back. So this will, I literally have a folder of New York City papers. <laughs> so that's where this will go. And then this is the back of that one, but I got it for the taxis. I actually got four sheets of this one because I absolutely love this for a background page. Um, so I did get four sheets. The back is this really usable um, pink color but um, I did get it for a background. Now I have um, a section of paper in my stash that I put aside just for background. So that's where that will go. I loved this Buffalo plaid and this is the back, but I purchased it for the Buffalo plaid. And I really thought these three together, they're apparently all from the same collection, but I thought this would be super cute for if I have any like outdoor Christmas layout. So that's why I got those. And then I can certainly pull embellishments and other paper for my stash. This is adorable. I've never seen this paper before you guys. I don't know what collection it's from, but I love the, the color palette. It's kind of, I'm not a big primary color person. I really don't like like rainbow colors, like the primary rainbow colors, but I love these, like the muted or like jewel tone maybe, I'm not sure. And then this has a really usable background, so I did get two of those. These I thought would be fun to fussy cut out. I think this is from the Hooray collection, which I do have the paper pad on this one, um, but it did not have this paper in it. So I just thought this would be fun to cut out and use as embellishments. This I just thought was super fun. I thought I could punch out some of these suns with my circle punch and use them as embellishments. And then same with the clouds. I thought this would be fun just to um, cut apart. So I'll probably like cut the sheet in half and you know cut out some clouds and then cut out some suns. I loved these florals for um, a fall layout. So I plan on just fussy cutting out all the florals on this one and then saving this side as a background paper. Um, I also did get some specialty papers. So all of those papers were 50 cents a piece. Um, I'm just gonna leave this out here so I can lay this on top. And then I got some specialty papers that were a dollar and I love this star. I just think for Christmas photos, it's gonna be super pretty. Um, then there was this blue, um, just this beautiful blue glitter. And I don't, this is from that POW glitter paper. And this is the glitter paper that does not rub off. Um, so as you can see, like I am rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. It is in the paper. So you don't, look at that. You don't have to worry about it rubbing off. And now that I'm looking at these, I may have to go back and get some more. Um, so I got that color of blue. 
I got the rose gold, which I thought was beautiful. And then I got this, I thought it was copper, but you know what? It might be rose gold foil. It does not say it on the back, but it's either a copper or rose gold. And I absolutely love this for fall photos as well. And now that I'm looking at all these, I feel like I might need to go back for a couple more sheets of foil and glitter paper because I really don't have a lot of this in my stash. And for the price, um, I may wait like a week or so and see if the prices go down a little bit, but I did want to just, while I was in there and they had, you know, full stock of paper, um, because today was the first day of the markdowns, I think, um, I wanted to go ahead and grab what I liked. So this is my quick little haul for AC Moore. And um, yeah, if I get any more, I will certainly share it with you guys, but this is it. And I'm so sad. I am hoping, hoping, hoping that what I read was that they were going to be um, in, they're closing 450 stores, but 40 of them, they are going to be putting Michael's stores in. So we do not have a Michael's in our town. We do have Michael's like 15 minutes, 20 minutes away in different directions from our town, but nothing locally here. And this was in a pretty prominent um, shopping area. So I'm really hoping that, like a busy shopping area. So I'm hoping that maybe they'll put a Michaels into our store. I wish I, I wish I knew now, but I don't. I will let you know if I find out. So this is my haul. I hope you guys have a great night. If you have any questions, please, please, please leave them below. I'll be happy to answer whatever I can. And I hope you all have a great evening. Bye guys.